I've watched YouTube and seen loads of ways this has been done with bread knives, saws um, but I've opted for a Stanley knife method behind my madness taking my time no rush, get a clean cut pull it apart, just go down gently um, I spent a week in orthopaedic surgery so I know what I'm doing Yeah, I'd love to say this was day two, but it's not. Um, I decided to go out and buy some of these doors in instead. This isn't the right one, this goes on the other side. I'm just putting it up to show you. When I put it up, hinges are okay down there, massive gap at the top. So, we had to take this front bar off. Well, this one, take this off, and cut a little bit off the edge. So now we can pull this in and that will bring the door through. The rest of the van is, the bed is cut to size. That would have cost me 300 quid. I bought it from Argos for 120 something. Cut it myself. Um, like I say, it's just a mess at the moment until all this is done. This top doesn't come for another two days. Once that's done, I've ordered the sink. That should be another two days. Sink and burner. Um, and then we'll get the electric set back up somewhere. There's no electrics in the van at the moment. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. I'll check these doors on and show you what it's like. Now, I've been having loads of problems with these doors. They're not exactly lined up. I had them lined up pretty much perfect. And then I went and put this bit in. This bit, make the bed look nice and stop it coming this way. But it's pushed the unit over slightly. So, <clears throat> what I really need to do is push the unit back that way a bit, which means chopping another bit off this. Pull it forward, perhaps. Don't know, we're going to have a look at that. Um, we'll get there. But the doors are in, three cupboards are going to go there. Like I say, that's the bed done now. There's going to be a curtain along the bottom here, just to hide all the boxes under there. Uh, that's it. Oh, and, by the way, we just got a parcel delivered. This is my worktop. It's um, it's two meters, so we've got to cut it off a bit. This is the bit I'm going to use. Uh, it's a bit I'm going to cut off. Obviously, with my saw, my guide won't go down, so I had to use this, which I've just measured out both ends. It's just over, what is it, three and a half? I couldn't tell you the exact. So I'm like putting the maps. But that's where we're going to cut it, that bit will go on the bus, this bit will get used, cut up a bit more and it'll get used as a table for behind the driver's seat on a, one of those Volkswagen swivel table bits I've got, I was going to get rid of but now I can use it. So we just need to cut through, yep cut through there, it's even got a guideline. Right, so we can't screw up, in theory. Right, we're done. Another toy. Gonna clean it up, see if it fits in the bus. 
So, tabletop fits perfect. There you go. Perfect tabletop. It's just to the edge of the bed, edge of the cupboard, which is just there. Excellent. We had to take the bit of trim out the back there. That's not an issue. We'll put something back in there. Um, we've got to do that trim in the corner there as well. But that's it. Start waxing it. Oiling it, rather. And then cut out a dirty great big hole there. For the sink cooker. Worktop, bedside cabinet. I'm knackered. That for two meters. Uh, was it 60 mil? 60 mil? I'm sure, it said it was. Um, two meters, 30 quid, which is a bargain, I think. That's the heaviest bit in the van at the moment. But it looks good. Okay. Okay, we're coming on. This is the worktop. Got a hole in the middle. Right, um, probably won't be able to see it, but I've drawn an outline of the Smev cooker. Pretty much the outline of it, ish. So, it's gonna go about there, so we're gonna have a little bit, actually it's gonna go there. So we're going to have a little bit over that side and a lot over that side for worktop and that's where the bed's going to be over there. So bedtime table. We're just about to cut it out. So I've drilled the hole in the middle. Well, the other side. It's the start point. <coughs> Let's just go from there. It may look a mess. We've got this in. Might have to stick those down somehow. They're all over the place. Um, yeah, got it in. We're just doing the gas works at the moment. I'm gonna put this bit on, and then we've got the flexible, and we're gonna try it out. Have a cup of tea. <clears throat> Note to self, next time I do this, this little bit here, bloody rubber kept on coming off every time. I've done it about three or four times. It kept on coming off. So I'm going to put a bit of black sealant around that. Uh, everything's done there. I tidy all that up. Water bottle's in. I've got to do the sink yet. So we've still got a hole under here. There you go. Um, we'll try this, try the burner, see if it works. Okay, gas is all set up. It's all set up in the pipe. There is a bit of play there, it doesn't look like it, but there is. Um, I was going to drill a hole and let the wastewater just run straight out. I might do that later, but for the moment I'll use this as a waste and I'll put my big one back in there. Uh, that's not wide up yet, but this is, hang on, let me turn it on, I've had a sniff, there's no gas leaks, but I'm going to, I've got a gas leak checker indoors, I'll go and get that, and do it properly. There you go, we have gas. Little gas, big gas. That's as big as it gets, really. Which, I suppose, is big enough. A little gas, big gas, little gas. Off gas. Right. That's up it done. Now I've got to do the sink. Oh, it's roasting in there. Right. 